Hey there YouTube, my name is Lek, aka The Pedantic Raver, and today I've got a review slash preview thing going on for you. Hopefully first of many. So I'm a vapor, I do the vape thing. Last cigarette I had was probably over nine months ago and I'm super proud of myself. Uh, but one of the most expensive parts of the hobby, ritual, quit smoking treatment or whatever, is the acquisition of fluids. You can go up to your local vape shop and purchase a tiny little bottle. I don't have any handy, but just a tiny little one, you know, 30 milliliters for like 20, 30 bucks. And that's kind of crazy. So what I've got here for you is from a company called Liquor Liquor, is an offering from a company called Liquid Barn. And uh, all of these I bought for myself. Uh, I don't have the hookup from the company. I've never spoken to them. I haven't tweeted them, haven't Instagrammed them or anything. Although I guess I can because they've got social media accounts for them to communicate with their, uh, with their clientele, which is cool. Um, but what this is, is the Liquid Barn Tastemaker Kits. And what these essentially are is a big ass bottle of your base fluid. Um, so what I've got, oh, it's not labeled, but I'll show you. Boom, I even opened that up from the appropriate end. You get a little nozzle and you get your big ass bottle. So what this is, is it says here on the bottle, it's 80% vegetable glycerin, 19.4% propylene glycol and 0.6% nicotine. Now the strength I got is six milligrams. That's where your 0.6% nicotine comes from. In these little containers is the taste maker kit itself. And with that, you get a little card get a nozzle, a bottle of flavoring, and your mixing bottle. So let's go ahead and use one of these right now and I'll show you exactly how it works, right? You use this card and on here it says, check your flavor concentrate for the recommended starting percentage. Hold your bottle against this card and measure to the desired percentage. Fill the rest of the bottle with your desired liquid. Please note, the measurements indicated on this card are only for the 30 milliliter unicorn bottle provided in your order. For other bottle sizes, calculate and measure your liquid amounts by weight or volume. For in more information, please visit liquidbarn.com. On the back here, it says determine your flavor strength, add desired amount to bottle, shake, steep, repeat. So let's make a batch. And uh, while I'm making this batch, I will talk about some nits I have to pick because I've already made one or two or three of these batches. And spoiler alert, they're pretty damn tasty. I haven't actually let anything steep for an extended period of time. Ooh, check it out. All these bottles are individually sealed for your pleasure and safety. And uh, this one's proving hard to open, so I'll just puncture it like that. Slightly hurt myself, but don't worry about it. Seal it up, and this bottle is now good to go. We take a look at our flavoring. This is butterscotch gram tobacco. I'm super psyched about it. I got some peach, I got some lava cake, and I got some snickerdoodle. Those three have been great. I have not tried the butterscotch yet. This is kind of the third time I've tried to make this video. They've all failed. Um, so butterscotch, right? Mmm. But actually it smells really good. So let's read on the bottle. Suggested percentage is 6%. So this stuff is beefy. What's really great, they want me to use 6% of this. The total contents of this bottle is 60 milliliters. So I've got almost twice as much as I need to flavor this 500 milliliter bottle. It's nuts. It's great. Um, it, it, they, they give you more than you need and then it'll allow me to mix and match and combine and make my own flavors and I'm super stoked. So on this card, as you can see, we've got a little graduated, you know, unicorn bottle drawing on there and percentages are marked. So what we do, what I'm gonna actually do, and this is one of the nits I was picking about, is when you completely fill this up, you, have, you no longer have any empty space to do the shaking part of what the, the card is requesting of you. So I'm going to make a half batch, uh, which means this one's 6%, I'm gonna give 3%. Let's do that now. There we are, 3%, close that up, put it to the side, knock something over, grab this bottle, crack it open, and then fill this up to the 50% mark. 
like so, and there we are. Look at that. Measured out 6%, filled it up to 50%. Let's put on my little nozzle. Put on the cap. Shake. And we're pretty much done. This is vape ready. Um, I wouldn't. Uh, certain flavors take longer to kind of cut through the base carrier fluid to get you that, that really delicious effect in your fluid. Um, and the longer it sits, up to two weeks, you'll get better flavor. And what my plan is to mix up batches of these just straight according to their recommended settings, let it sit for a couple weeks, and then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna make a video where I try them all, or at the very least, fill you in, maybe in the comments, who knows, we'll figure it out. Uh, and follow up to see if these flavors are as actually legit as I want them to be. I hope they will be. I'll keep you filled in. Again, I'm Lek, the Pedantic Raver. Thank you so much for watching. Um, throw me a subscribe and that way you'll get notified when I do my review in a couple weeks. And uh, I'll see you there. Thanks for stopping by.